were felling these large trees, they've got a disease called Remorum. This disease is sweeping through the country at the moment and chances are there won't be any large trees left standing in the next five to ten years. It's quite sad really, particularly for us. This was one of the first trees we planted here on the plot when we arrived 15 years ago. We'll make the most of it. We'll use this timber either for construction or for firewood. But nonetheless, it represents an ecological loss here. Sadly, larch trees aren't the only native tree to be suffering from diseases sweeping through. Ash dieback is having a massive impact on our hedgerows and our woodlands here in Wales. These diseases are indications of an unbalanced ecology. And in many ways they tell us what we already know. We are living in turbulent times. For the land stewards among us, this makes for very challenging design conditions. In the past, the general ethos was to plant native trees to support local ecologies. But that's no longer really a viable approach. And so, we plant a wide range of tree species in order to build resilience and capacity. Hedging our bets, if you like. You see, the climate and the ecology are now changing so rapidly, we don't know which way it's going to swing. And so, for example, this year, I'm planting western red cedar and hemlock as timber crops. I'm planting heartnut and hickory as nut crops. I'm planting pineapple guava and persimmon as top fruit. I don't know if they're going to survive let alone thrive and produce. But I figure the more that I diversify, the greater the chances are that some of these crops are going to come through. It's a gamble. But as gardeners, we're used to gambling. These are my pumpkins. They're ready to go out. But do I risk it? You see, this time of year, Gardeners across the country will be watching the weather forecasts, trying to assess for the risk of frost. Many of the crops that we've come to rely on, sweet corn, French beans, pumpkins, they're frost vulnerable. So that means if the frost catches them, they're gone. And so late spring, we're weighing it up. Do we jump the gun and get them out there? If so, we risk Jack Frost coming and taking our crops. But we've only got a short growing season, and so we're keen to get them out as quickly as possible. Climate change is making things more complex. Now whilst things are warming up, it's warmer, great. There's more energy in the system, and so the weather patterns are more erratic and more unpredictable, which makes even more difficult to weigh up the odds. This year it feels like summer's arrived early and so I'm going to be taking the risk and getting these lot out into the ground. But only time will tell if that pays off or not.
growing is gambling. Some you win, some you lose. But every season provides an opportunity to learn. With careful observation, calculated risk and sustained application, we can build on our experience and our knowledge base year on year. This is important because what we're really gambling against is time. We're entering into a period of upheaval and instability. But if we can design, build, and scale up intelligent solutions, then we can be prepared for what comes next. And we can lay the foundations for a sustainable and a bountiful future.